So a lot of people have asked me to do a tutorial on this slow motion effect with After Effects that I did with my dog Tilly. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And I like to watch tutorials that are brief, so I'm going to get right to the point. All right, here is the video raw shot with a 5D Mark II, 50 millimeter prime f1.4 lens. And we are going to add a slow motion effect to it. First thing, take the footage, drag it in to After Effects here. And what I like to do is we can gain about 25% more footage, slowing it down 25% just by interpreting it. This footage was shot at 30 frames per second. If you go to Interpret, change this to 23.976. There, we already gained 25% more footage. And now we're going to take this, drag it into a new composition, and that interpreting messed up the audio, but I'm not using it anyway, so I'm just going to turn it down. First step, right click on it, we're going to enable time remapping. What that does is you see it added these keyframes here, and it's going to allow us to stretch the footage out. So next we need to add some room in our comp for that stretch footage. So I'm going to add eight seconds there. All right. And since we have time remapping enabled, I'm just going to stretch this out. And then I'm going to find where I want to start slowing down, which is about right there. Add a keyframe. Figure out where I want to go back to normal speed, about right there. Add another keyframe. Select these last two, and now I'm stretching the frames between this keyframe and the one in front of it. So all this footage from here to here has been stretched out. Now, it's going to look really choppy, though, if you played it like this. So the trick now is to enable frame blending. And there's two different ways that it can do this frame blending. The frame mix, not very good. The pixel motion is really advanced and pretty cool. It actually tries to guess where, for example, her paws are going to be in the frames that it creates between the actual frames. So enable frame blending pixel motion, which will turn on this little slash right here. But you also have to enable it for all your layers on this button up here. So you should have this button and a slash here. What that did is it created many, many frames in between here and smoothed it out. One more thing I like to do is if you hold control, you can click these keyframes and what that does is it just makes it a little smoother. If you can show you the graph here, this is the frame rate. It just makes it a little smoother when it transitions. And that's it. So let's go ahead and watch it. All right, so the first part of this footage is just 25% slower. And then it gets to this point here where it gets really slow. And you can see where the frame blending is trying to guess where her paws are going to be and where her tongue's going to be. The sidewalk's a little warped, but it's still a pretty cool effect nonetheless. Thanks for watching.